All right, check this out. You guys are back on the Hater World, and I'm Blue Devil. What we have going on today is a video that's been highly recommended all over my YouTube page, all over the Instagram, and all over the place. Everybody been asking for Swifty Blue versus Bozo. I've been seeing a lot of remarks and getting a lot of remarks saying I can't do this video, that it goes against my my policy, or somebody will have me take it down. Or it's just a bunch of weird old shit. But check this out. Uh, fuck all that noise. What I'm going to do is give you guys this video. I will tell you I could not find the bozo part. I digged everywhere for his part and I could not find it. So all we're going to do is a reaction to Swifty Blue. That boy is all over the internet. So all his shit is smeared all over the walls uh, and very easy to find. All right. So before we get into this video though, I do want to mention one thing. We do have a new member for the uh, Hater World. Uh, my my hat plug, Tops King. I'm going to leave his uh, information down below in the description. I'm going to leave you guys his YouTube and his Instagram. Go give him a follow. Let him know Blue Devil sent, him, uh, sent you. And uh, show him some love. He's on the team. Uh, he, he, we're not sure what he's going to do for the team yet, but he's on the team. All right, so check this out. I did go out today and I copped something for a giveaway. We still have the t-shirt giveaway, don't worry. Uh, that's coming, I think, October 3rd or something. I'm not quite sure. Go go look at the post. Uh, but we got another giveaway that's going to happen in the next couple of days. To all the people that are into hats, uh, if you guys can see, I wear a new fitted on every video. Everybody's asking about my hat. So I went out and I copped a special drop that dropped today. I got it from Pro Image, and what we're gonna do is just give it away to one lucky winner. Let me show you the hat real quick. And we're gonna do random stuff like this. I know it's not much, I know it's not a lot, you know, but if we can do random stuff uh, for the people, why not? Check this out. This dropped today via Pro Image. I'm not sponsoring them, not sponsored by them at all. I just picked this up, I picked myself one up, and I picked an extra one up. Uh, so to, to those that like this hat, we got a we got a uh, orange brim, uh, under visor, black sweatband, so you guys can see, sound like a damn hat guy now, but I'm not. I pick one up for me, and I pick one up for a lucky winner out there. This is a 7 and 1 8. Okay, so to anybody that wants to win this, go over to, uh, here's the receipt as well, I can't show you that. Uh, now I have to blur that out. Check this out. To anybody that wants to win that hat, go over to uh, Tops King. Uh, and he'll have all the uh, information there uh, on the uh, on his Instagram. All right, so we got a lot of shit coming. Uh, so don't worry about that. We're going to make it happen. Like I said before, you guys fuck with me, so I'll fuck with you guys. You guys help me blow. I'm going to help you guys come up. That's the way it works. And other than that, if you're not subscribed, make sure you go subscribe. Hit the bell. Like the video. And most importantly, leave me a comment down below. And let me know if you fuck with me or whether you don't. And to all my day one salute, we reached 10K. We're on the road to 15 and then 20. One sub at a time so we can take over the world. So check this out. That's enough of that fucking intro. Let's get into this uh, Swifty Blue video. Uh, him talking about Bozo. Once again, uh, the Bozo part, I could not find it. But I do recall what he said. And we'll leave it for later down the video. But let's watch this video. It's 2 minutes and 14 seconds. Let's watch the whole thing entirely. Uh, because it's, this guy is a good act. And I really want to have some laughs right now. And then we'll come back and pause it in between, all right? But again, shout out to Swifty for, for him doing this thing. You know, he's, he's out there in the media, and that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to be in the media, and people talking about you, whether it's good or bad, it's, 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 you're being published, you're being pushed. You know, we're working as his, uh, as his uh, publicist right now. We're working as his uh, media team because we're out here talking about him. So salute to Swifty because if this is on purpose or not on purpose, it's working. All right, so let's watch this video. And then we'll come back and then we'll pass the shit. Let's go. Look, I even want to speak on it. You want to talk about two fibers? Hold up. Wasn't it the Fufo Pico Viejo who just popped two fiber? And you over here woofing? You a dropout. That's what you are. You a dropout. You over here woofing online, talking all this dumb shit. When there's real shit going down in these streets. And there's real motherfuckers from your city going down for shit. Driving hours and doing all types of crazy shit. Just, just for the program. But you talking about, oh, I'm a family man, it's that who knock it off, boy, don't try to smut me up. Don't try to smut me up, boy. Cause that cause we know the truth. The fool's from PV out here knocking shit. Well, what you doing? You online pulling up 50 deep to no jumper over over some other shit? Like, fuck wrong with you? Why why ain't y'all pull up 50 deep to knock out the motherfucker who was dissing you, calling you out online, all type of shit? Cause you for the internet. You for the internet. 
and I will give you the respect as a man and tell you this to your face, but you for the internet. So I can't, I can't even tell you to your face. You know what I'm saying? Don't play me. Hey, somebody, look, somebody give me that man information from, from Pico Viejo who took care of that, that dude in Riverside. We're going to send him some money. He a real one. He deserve all that. He got everything coming. Well, he, whatever he got, he deserved it. He a real one. He not on the internet. Wolfing, running his mouth about another grown man. He didn't go online. Wolfing saying, hey, Savage, I'm going to get you. I'm going to whoop. You're a PC or a 2 5 -er. Nah, he, he pulled up. Boom, handle business. Handle business. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and for a second, I thought, I thought, oh boy, was a real one. I thought, like, he a real gangster. Like, yeah, woo woo, nah. You know what I'm fucked up. Real internet. Level two, level two soldiers. Level two soldiers trying to act like, oh, I've been, I've been around this, this, that. You level two. Everybody knows the truth. I ain't been nowhere. Motherfucker, I know fools was busted what you saying. Oh, yeah, he was just trying to go home. He wasn't trying to do nothing for nobody. But you want to come out and talk all this crazy high power shit. Boy, knock it off. <laughs> knock it off. Hold on, let, let me rewind it. That motherfucker was out of breath towards the end, huh? Alright, so uh he said some shit. Uh I be forgetting quick as fuck. You know, I be watching the video and I forget what the fuck I'm gonna say. So a lot of people out there be telling me to let the video play, but I don't. The reason I pause it is cause uh, if I let the video play, I'll forget what I was going to say. So let's go ahead and watch it again, and I'm going to pause it in between now. Let's go. Oh, before we go, Bozo, I don't know how this shit started. I know they had beef back in the day, right? Bozo had called him a 2-5 for several reasons. Reason number one, uh, Swifty Blue was going to do some kind of feature with, uh, God damn, I don't even want to mention this motherfucker's name. Uh, with the dude that Neil the Sar dissed on that song. A lot of you fools know who I'm talking about. Let's just call him the rat. Okay. Uh, not even the rat. Was he a rat or was he just a dropout? Okay, the dropout. Uh, Swifty Blue was going to do a feature or some kind of song with the dropout uh, from Pacoima. And ended up not knowing that he was a dropout. And later... Uh, Later, uh, blocked the guy and did all that. So, but you did reach out to do some kind of work with him, all right? Number two, you're you're praising Kodak Black, which is a registered uh, offender. Uh, he did some kind of uh, sexual abuse. He's been uh, arrested for, I think it was abusing a woman. Uh, I'm not quite sure if it was that. I don't even want to say that word, so I'm going to bleep it out. But we don't condone that. And you're out here, you're out here hyped up because you you're with Kodak Black, you know. And salute. I mean, I mean, Kodak Black is a star, uh, but that doesn't defeat the purpose of what he's done. And for you out here to be praising that man when he's a sexual offender, uh, it's a bad look on you because, like, like they say, you are who you hang with. You know, look at the people around you. And so that's two mistakes there. One, uh, kicking it with the dropout or trying to do some work with the dropout. And uh, number two is is you know, praising a sexual abuser. Uh, so, Bozo called you a two-fiver for those two reasons. Okay, and again, Bozo don't speak at a turn. He's a very intelligent man. And he I'm not backing him up and I'm not backing out Swifty. I don't give a fuck about none of them. Uh, but the fact that we've seen Bozo speak very intelligently and not at a turn tells me that he knows something we don't know when it comes to Swifty Blue. All right, but let's watch this video here and let's break it down. Look, I ain't even want to speak on it. You want to talk about two fibers? Hold up, wasn't it the fool from Pico Viejo who just popped two fiber? Check it out. That's an open case. Swifty should know not to be speaking on another man like that when there's still a pace pending, a pace, a case pending. If the case is pending, why are you speaking on that man? But let's go. Over here, Wolfen, you a dropout. That's what you are. Check this out. Swifty Blue also knows, or should know, not to be calling nobody a DO or a dropout without any kind of paperwork or documentation. So by him doing that, now he can get uh, violated for saying shit that ain't true, smutting somebody up, 
without it being true. Now, he could have said something like, you're a bitch, you're a lame, fuck you, blah, blah, blah. But when you put that jacket on somebody that they're fucking a uh, dropout or a PC, now if that if that ain't not true and you can't you can't prove that, you got something coming. So I don't know where he's getting that info from, but we all know that Bozo did 10 years in the pen and uh, walked out mainline. So I don't know where that's coming from. And Swifty should be very careful with the words that are going to come out of his mouth or that are coming out of his mouth. But let's go. You a dropout. You over here woofing online talking all this dumb shit. He said he's over here woofing online talking all this shit. But yet this man is here online talking all this shit on the internet too. I swear, I uh, I don't know if people are dumb or confused, but let's go. There's real shit going down in these streets, and there's real motherfuckers from your city going down for shit, driving hours and doing all types. What does it matter if somebody from the city did something? Like, I don't know what he's trying to prove here, saying that somebody from the city that a bozo is from did something. People are being murdered all day long in my city, and that got nothing to do with me. I don't give a fuck. People are being murdered in Paramount all day long. What the fuck that got to do with you? What the fuck does it matter what my enemies did? And the, the gang that he's mentioning right now is rivals with Bozo's gang. So what the fuck does that got to do with Bozo? I, like I said, I don't know if people are dumb or just stupid. Or fuck, it, probably both. But let's go. Just, just for the program... What you talking about? Oh, I'm a family man. This, that, who? Knock it off, boy. Don't try to smut me up. Don't try to smut me up, boy. Because that, because we know the truth. That fool's from PV out here knocking shit. Again, I, I, I think that what he's trying to say is that you're letting your enemies take care of the, of the, uh, of the dropout and not you? What's the matter, bro? Did it. The fuck does it matter? It doesn't matter if it was that guy, this guy, or that guy took care of it so what the fuck is you talking about straight up he did all of us a favor by getting that basura off the internet so what the fuck is you talking about swifty blue seriously sometimes you just make no sense my boy but let's go what you doing you online pulling up 50 deep to no jumper over over some other shit like so what he's out there doing what he gotta do for his people which includes me and you Maybe you didn't like that look, but everybody else did, for the majority part. And that's some productive that's bringing light to the issues that we have here in L.A. when it comes to racism. Unlike you creating the fucking problems. And again, I'm not on both side. It sounds like I am, but I'm not on his side and I'm not on Swifty's side. Like I said, give a fuck about these guys. If one day they reach out, they reach out. No hard feelings. But do I feel like, like, uh, like I'm picking sides here? Nah, I'm right in the middle. I'm just calling it like I see it. And so far, it seems like Swifty Blue is just in his feelings saying a bunch of dumb shit. Let's go. Fuck, why don't you? Why, why don't y'all pull up 50 deep to knock out the motherfucker who was dissing you, calling you out on live, all type of shit? Why don't you pull up to the D.O., the dropout that was calling you out online, right? First of all, we don't give trash any time of the day. And if we do, it's a quick hot minute and it's done. It's over. We don't keep talking about trash. We don't talk about basura, homie. You know, they'll get theirs when it's time to get theirs. You should know that, Swifty. So why the fuck am I going to, or, or not me, but why in the fuck would Bozo pull up 50 deep to take out the trash when all it took was one man? It just makes no sense, my boy. But let's go. Because you for the internet. You for the internet. And I will give you the respect as a man and tell you this to your face. But you for the internet. That's the funniest part right there. You know why? Because I looked everywhere for that Bozo Instagram post. I couldn't find it. And all the other videos you see of Bozo versus Swifty, nobody has the, the Bozo post. Because he he got his message across and he took the post down. But yeah, you see Swifty shit fucking smeared all over the walls on YouTube. You know, so who's really for the internet? And again, it sounds like I'm taking Bozo's side and I'm not. It just seems like this motherfucker is saying a, a bunch of dumb shit. Let's go. So I can't, I can't even tell you to your face. You know what I'm saying? Don't play me. Hey, somebody, look, somebody give me that man information from, from Pico Yeho who took care of that, that dude in Riverside. We're going to send him some money. This fool's talking too much on open cases. He's saying, he's name dropping a little too much. Uh, saying shit shouldn't be, he shouldn't be saying. 
it makes me feel like you for the internet, Swifty. How are you talking on an open case? You saying the man's gang, and you saying he took care of business. A lot of you Swifty blue nuts nut huggers down there are gonna talk shit to me, but it don't matter. He shouldn't be speaking on that, bro. Like, come on. Like, there's certain videos I don't want to do because I don't want to speak on nobody's open shit. You know? So, send him some money, homie, because he's going to need it for a lawyer after the shit you said. Let's go. Real one. He deserved all that. He got everything coming. Well, he, whatever he got, he deserved it. He a real one. He not on the internet. Wolfing, running his mouth about another grown man. He didn't go online. He, oh, let's see. Wolfing saying, hey, Savage, I'm going to get you. I'm going to whoop. You're a PC or a two fighter. Nah, he will be pulled up. Boom, handle business. Why does he keep talking about another man, bro? Like, I want to end this video already because there is no more, n nothing more to say. You keep talking about what somebody else did, homie, instead of you talking about shit you did. What the fuck does it matter what that fool did? Like, what? how how are you getting any points off of that? You should have addressed Bozo on your reactions with Bozo, your interactions with Bozo, not on what another motherfucker did. What the fuck? That's lame as fuck. But check it out. I'm going to call this video quits because there's nothing much more to go on here. Uh, I know Bozo did call him a two-fiver, and for those reasons that I stated before, was it the right thing to do? No. Uh, I don't think Bozo should have called him a two-five, uh, because now he has to back that up too. But then again, remember, Bozo been to the pen, so he probably got a gang of plugs, and he probably knows something that we don't know. Or he already knows that when this fool gets locked up, he's going to uh, he's gonna have to stand tall for all the shit he said, you know? So who knows? Who knows what the fuck Bozo knows that we don't? Because I really I really doubt it that Bozo would be calling this fool a 2-5 without knowing something. Like I said, he don't speak out of turn. He don't look like the one to say shit uh, from having his feelings hurt. And Swifty does. Swifty looks like the kind of kid that will just run his mouth thinking that he's cool or trying to scare you with the shit he's saying. So once again, I'm going to call this video quits. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, make sure you guys comment down below. Uh, make sure you guys like the video for the algorithm. Make sure you go follow Tops King. Once again, salute to Swifty and Bozo. I just call it how I see it, regardless of how you feel. Okay? And once again, you want to win this bad boy? Go over to Top Kings, Tops King, and let them know that Blue Devil sent you. He's part of the family, part of the team. We, we will be looking for other people to join the team further down the line. So stay tuned for that. Other than that, I'm Blue Devil. This has been the Hater World Production, and we out.